Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Road Choice TV. I'm your host, Justin, and in this episode, we're gonna help you troubleshoot common problems with air disc brakes. Here are five common air disc brake symptoms. And even if you don't see yours listed here, it's possible that it could still match one of these symptoms. So I encourage you to watch this video anyway. Common symptoms include brake drag, short brake pad lining life, smoking brakes, poor stopping power, and brake noise. Now, like I said, these are general symptoms. So check with your local road choice parts counter if you have any questions. Dragging brakes can be caused by an incorrect initial adjustment or by incorrect pad to rotor clearance. In that case, readjust to set the correct rotor to pad distance. In situations where the brake is not releasing, you may need to replace the caliper assembly. The caliper should move back and forth by hand with the linings removed. Another common symptom with air disc brakes is seeing shorter life in the brake pad lining. Now this could be caused by brake drag, a caliper that is seized or sticking, or possibly an overly abrasive environment. This shorter life can be a symptom of brake drag, so readjust to set the correct rotor to pad clearance. A seized caliper calls for replacing the caliper assembly. You might also want to check for contamination on the brake pad and rotor surface and install pad or rotor shields where available. Most importantly, make sure that you're using pads from a well-known provider. There are lots of brands out there and just as many definitions of quality. Go with a name you can trust. Road Choice brand brake pads are available at any Road Choice parts counter. Smoking brakes are caused by a high brake temperature. This could be caused by brake drag or shorter brake pad lining life. Check for correct pad rotor clearance as you may want to readjust. And if you've recently put in new mileage pads, this could be a temporary situation. Another cause of smoking brakes is contamination on the linings or the rotor. In the case of poor stopping power, you may notice longer stopping distances or the vehicle pulling to one side. Poor driver feel is another complaint as well as high brake pressures. There could be several reasons for these issues from the need to replace the hub seal cleaning the rotors and the caliper assembly, or replacing the pads. In other situations, it could be a vehicle air system malfunction in which you'll want to have that evaluated by a qualified brake system specialist. Also, check to make sure that your braking issue isn't caused by exceeding your vehicle's weight limitations. Brake noise can usually be traced to issues with the brake pads. This can come from incorrect pad installation, and I know it sounds simple, but make sure that the friction surface is facing towards the rotor. Other causes of brake noise could be worn pads or corrosion on the pad itself. In these cases, replacement of the pads could correct the issue. Well, I hope this episode has been very beneficial to you guys. As always, you can email me with any questions to justin at roadchoice.com and I'll get you an answer to all of your troubleshooting issues that we didn't cover today. You can also stop by a local Road Choice parts counter to enjoy the benefits of the Road Choice brand nationwide, ready to serve you 24-7, 365 days of the year. Well, thanks again, and don't forget to check back for the last episode in this series on air disc brakes covering how to service brake pads. I'll see you next time.